Hello and welcome to the tutorial how to create an animated card with Shade Arrow Sprite and CCG Kit. In this tutorial, we will also use the artworks dwarf from Critical Hit. Let's create our shader. First, we need to set up the artwork into sprites. Use your favorite software to split the artwork. Now we can start creating our shader. We need to create a material into the project. And create the shade arrow sprite shader. Share the created material to use your own material. Let's create our first node, the build shader. Link the created shader to the build shader. Add the shader into the material like this. And the material to your sprite renderer for a live preview. Great, the material and the shader are set up. Now, we will create four new texture node, the three parts artwork and a simple smoke texture. Go to initialize, and select new texture. Right click on the new texture node and select duplicate. Duplicate also this node for the third new texture. For the last one, we will use a source texture, because we need to use this texture two times for two different effects. Put the background artwork to the first created new texture node. The mountain artwork to the second created new texture node. The smoke texture to the third new texture node. And the dwarf to the source new texture node. Now to blend all the artworks into one single sprite, we need to use the blend node multiple times. Right click, RGB, with two RGB and select blend. Connect the RGB to the first input of the blend node, and the other RGB to the second input. If we connect the blend node to the build shader, we can see that only the back and the mountain are together. So we need to blend all the artwork. For that, we will create another blend node between the first blend result to the smoke texture. Duplicate the blend node and connect the RGB output to the first input of the new blend node. And connect the smoke texture to the second input, like this. Duplicate another blend node and connect the RGB output to the first input of the new created blend node. As you can see, we can't connect a source to an RGB, so we will use source to RGB. Right click, RGB, source and select to RGB. Connect the RGB output to the second input of the last blend node. Now we can connect the result to the build shader. As you can see, all the artworks are connected into one sprite. Now, we can start adding some amazing effects on it. Let's move the sky from left to right. Right click, UV, animated, and select animated movement UV. Connect the UV to the background new texture UV. Change the offset X of the animated movement UV and the speed. Now the backgrounds are moving automatically. It's great. Let's add a pinch effect for a nice surrounding effect behind the dwarf. Right click, UV, FX and select pinch UV. Connect the UV to the animated movement UV. Select the right parameters for a better result. Take your time. Now, we will do the same for the smoke effect. Duplicate the animated movement UV and change the parameters like this. Use only the offset X parameters for an horizontal scrolling. Also if you want to fade a bit the smoke effect, you can simply change the fade parameters of the dedicated blend node, like this. Now, the smoke effect look better. For the next effect, we will use the source new texture node to add a blur effect. Right click, RGB, FX and select blur. Link the source to the blur source input like this. Now we can blend both RGB, duplicate a blend node and connect the blur RGB to the first input of the created blend node and the other RGB to the second RGB input. Let's add a fire effect between the blur and the blend. 
right click RGB generate effects and select fire Create another blend node and connect the blur and the fire output. Then, connect the blend output to the first input of the blend. The fire is now set on the back. Let's add some cool colors with a plasma effect. Right click, RGB, FX, and select Plasma FX. Then connect the RGB output to the RGB input of the Plasma node, and the Plasma output to the first node of the blend. Like this. Choice the right Plasma parameters. To use only the dwarf and avoid the ground, we will add the Circle Fit FX to the Plasma FX. Right click RGB, FX and select Circle Fade FX. Connect the plasma output to the Circle Fade node and the Circle Fade node output to the first input of the blend, like this. Select the right parameters. Let's have a look, the effects is now surrounding only the dwarf. To add more lights on the effect, we will add RGB addition on it. Right click, RGB, Math, and select RGB plus value. The effect have now more intensity and brightness. It's even better with HDR activated. For this example, we will use only the blue in addition of the RGB. Now, we will add an animated twist UV effect to create a sweet fluid effect that turn around the dwarf. Right click, UV, Animated, and select Animated Twist UV. Connect the twist UV to the Circle Fit FX UV. Select the right twist parameters. Remember that you can use a preview node to view only the twist plasma effect like this. Let's modify all the parameters for a much better result. Take your time. The effect looks gorgeous. Let's finalize with a nice zoom in out effect. Right click UV, Animated and select Animated Zoom UV. Connect the UV to the source to RGB UV, into the Blur UV. Change the red zoom parameters. Let's have a look in full screen. This character is really powerful. Now let's have a look at all the cards together. Thanks for watching.